play every play, but tomorrow, let's have a great day tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna reflect how we play on Saturday. Saturday we, so Saturday we can make a statement for the conference now. We make a statement for the conference Saturday. I see no better team to do it with. Uh, our problems that we have in the games are all fixable. Right now, we get a lot of advice from people that don't really matter. I always have agreed in saying that someone else's opinion to me is none of my business. And the same way with you. Anybody's opinion to you, their opinion is none of your business. So they don't matter. I don't mind because they don't matter. All right, the, the truth the reality is, is that we can play a lot better than you know it and I know it. There's probably 15, 14, 15 plays that was a bad play call. I shouldn't, shouldn't make, make a better play call. There's 14 plays that would have scored touchdowns if they were executed properly. And it was usually just one guy. It wasn't always the same guy, just one guy. And that stuff happens, but those are the things that we'll clean up. If we do four of the 14 that we screwed up, and four of the 14 that I screwed up, that's eight touchdowns. So, you know, that's easy fix. Right, what's not gonna do is panic. Again, Thursday practice, the, the critical practice, thoughtful Thursday, how thoughtful are we are about our preparation for this game. And man, I want, I want to see you locked in today. I, I don't want to see just going out there going through the motions. I want to see us locked in and focused on, on doing our assignment and, being, and doing it right. And showing us what you can do and be focused and intentional. You know what intentional means? It means playing, practicing with intent. The intent to win. The intent to do everything right. The intent to go out there and show the coaches I can do my assignment. We've got to learn to practice with an intentional practice with the intent of winning. Listen up now, we, we, uh, you made a little history last week, every, every era, every time uh, a program gets started, it always starts somewhere, in a lot of ways it started there, but we're going to talk a little bit tonight about, about the chance to make history, about, about the chance for you uh, to make a difference in this football team, and tomorrow night's game, after we talk a little bit about the specifics of the game, I'm going to give you all a little history lesson after that on football. But tomorrow, you, you guys, now, Things to remember now, you set the stage for your home field, didn't you? You, you gave the folks something that they, they've been wanting to see. And that's a home win. And you gave them some excitement. And you gave them a reason to come back. And you got something started. And now you got to continue. Now you got to continue it now. And the challenge only gets bigger. The opportunity only gets greater. The next part is up to you. It's always about the player. It's always about the players. It's about what, what, how much you believe and what you're going to do and the things that you do in that football game and mentally how you're prepared to do it. I mean, it's not that we care who gets the credit. We don't even know who's going to get the credit. Everybody's going to get the credit. But we got to walk out of this room, and you got to have the courage, the audacity to believe that whatever you do and whatever your role is, you're going to do the thing that wins the game. You're going to do your job so well, it determines the outcome of this game. When we get everybody doing that, we'll be a champion. We'll be a champion, and it'll start tomorrow. It'll change the, the course of this program. I'm junior wide receiver Will Derrick, and this is my Warhawk story. Uh, being a walk-on and trying to get on a team is difficult in itself, but you have to kind of go a little bit above and beyond than everybody else does to try to improve yourself, to show that you can be valuable to the team and be an asset. I've definitely changed a lot as a player. I've gotten taller and faster, the physical aspect of it, but with the Rich Rod offense, I feel like I've learned a lot more about the football just side of it, the IQ, studying how to actually play, why I'm running routes, not just running them. I think that the, the offense in general is different than it was last year. It's a lot faster, it's a lot more up-tempo. A, a lot more guys have to be able to do different things than we'd have in the past. My favorite part of the game day experience is probably going out for pregame and sweats and stuff and just kind of getting locked in.
So my dad was a Shreveport police officer for 30 years. He was on the SWAT department and my mom was a principal. So there wasn't much getting away with anything growing up. And they, they pretty much just installed, instilled in me, be a good person, always be honest and do the best you can in everything. And I think that kind of translate over into being a walk on, always give it your all, do more than everybody else is doing and it'll it'll turn out okay. Yeah, I have I have one brother. He's 30 years old. He's got three kids. So there's a pretty big age difference about 9 years. So he's not more of a brother as a as he is a second father figure to me being so far apart. I look that's definitely one of my bigger role models in my life growing up. I always want to be just like him. He was a receiver. He played it Mississippi College before he fractured his sternum and had to quit playing. Yeah, so I wanted to keep everything I have on the right side and I want to keep my left side clean in case I meet somebody's parents I can just turn over and they can only see one side of it. But my upper arm, I actually did all this in one. It's more of my meaningful uh, family related stuff like that, tattoos, my religion, got Jesus, my number, who was my dad's number, He's, it's now my number, and my grandmother's favorite animal when she passed away the day she actually died, and then I got badge numbers for my dad and my brother, and then sunshine is what my mom's always called, my mom has always called me because of the, in high school I did have the same kind of hair, and she, I, she said that I look like sunshine from Remember the Titans. The lower leg is more for me. It's more things that I like. So I have a lion in the front. I really like the lion with the smoke coming out. I got the year I was born, 1999. I got babies and memories from Friday Night Lights because after you're done playing, that's all you're gonna have is babies and memories. And then I devoted the back of my leg. I'm gonna eventually have a full leg sleeve and then I'll be done, hopefully. My, de my parents definitely hope I'm gonna be done. But the back of my leg is actually anime. So I have a couple, um, it's all Naruto at this point, but I'm sure I'm gonna add some more. Being a criminal justice major is definitely focused on, I wanna be a state trooper. I haven't decided where at. Most of my family is in Shreveport, but I really like the whole Dallas-Fort Worth area. And so that is definitely what I'm going to be pursuing is a career in, in the police department. Success for the football team, if you ask people around here, it's probably winning the game, but if you ask the guys in the locker room, nothing short of a conference championship. That's the mindset, that's the goal. We don't want to end until we have a ring. Being a Warhawk to me probably means doing everything I can to help somebody else out. Always being a servant, never asking for too much, always trying to be the best person that I personally can be, and then letting the rest fold out as it may. Big home game makes me all the time for this. Let me get your brother. Dr. Lee in the building, you know. <laughs> Just did the Warhawk walk. I'll see you guys at seven. This is what we come for, for our place, man. All together, one heartbeat. Help three, family. One, two, three, family. All right, all right. Set the tempo early. Tempo ain't necessarily just about speed. It's about how hard you hit. Set the tempo of how you're going to play this game right off the bat. Right off the bat. You come out swinging. I don't mean swinging your fist. I mean come out playing. Nobody out hustles our offense, nobody out hits our defense. You establish that right off the first play. If they make a play, and they will make a play, it's a football game. Put it behind you, go to the next one. Trust the system, trust the plan, trust the strategy, trust your teammates, and move on to the next play. Man, the longer this thing game goes, the more they doubt, and it comes, into our, 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 it comes to us. It comes to us, because that's what we're coming out here for. We know what we got.
Troy defense. Three receivers to the left for Rodriguez on second down. Pressure off the edge. Goes deep looking for his receiver. And a catch by Zach Jackson falling down across midfield. Out to Detroit. 46-yard line. It's a gain of 34. Seven for the Warhawks. At Detroit 23, Rodriguez goes to the right side. Goes for Jackson. Who goes up and makes the catch. Touchdown, ULM. Touchdown. Zach Jackson with his third touchdown reception of the season. Sutherland, four of six a week ago. Sutherland will try this one from 27. Kick on its way. And the kick right down the middle. Warhawks extend the lead to 10. 10 nothing with just above 10 minutes to go here in the first half. Score, they don't win the game. All right, so lock in, tape it, get loose. Okay, you starting it, Holly. I want you right beside me, right, right beside me. All right, am I good? All right. All right, listen up, bro. Everybody, listen up. everybody, listen up, man. Man, listen up, offense. We got the ball when we go back out there. We got to go out there and take that ball, and we got to stick it in the end zone. Offense, you got to go out there, and you got to go out there and win this football game with your offense. Win this football game with your offense. Yeah. Max, let's make a big play. Yeah. Let's make a big play. Defense, defense. One turnover, you hold them to three. If you don't, if they don't score, we win. Mm -hmm. They don't score, we win. Mm -hmm. It's in your hands. Mm -hmm. It's in your hands. And men, we're getting after this. Ain't it ain't no fluke. We're getting after them. Mm -hmm. It ain't no fluke. We are gonna play our game. Hey fellas, hey fellas. Last week we were down what three to seven halftime, weren't we? Three to seven. And then three to seven, seven to three, and we took it to them. We knew what we had to do. I mean, this is our kind of game. Let's go out and do it. Let's go out. Hold the gas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shotgun on fourth and one. Couple of tight ends. Rodriguez gives it to Henry. Bounces it to the edge. Henry with the edge. To the outside. Henry to the house. Touchdown ULM. 40-yard touchdown run for Andrew Henry. His first of the season. And ULM leads by two scores again. It's 16-3. to hey, 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 hey. Seven. Play fake. Powell under some pressure and down he goes. First and goal, Troy down to the six. Powell with two receivers each way. Goes to the left, has Johnson the ball, pops out and it's taken by ULM. The Warhawks heading the other way. Taken out of mid. And back to the house. 
loss for ULM. The Warhawks score from all the way down the field with Jaquez Williams, a sixth year senior transfer from Wake Forest. So excited for our players and for what they've been able to uh, achieve so far this year. Uh, just a remarkable job of our players believing in themselves, buying in to our to our staff. A great job of our staff of preparing them and getting them ready, uh, and um, and now beating a Troy team, a good solid Troy team, uh, to uh, to win our first conference game. Uh, just can't say enough. Uh, the, boy, the, the the fans, I don't know how many were there, but it was as loud and energetic, and they were so involved in the game. We just have a great feel behind our bench. And I will say this, I'm going to keep on letting a lot of our, our scout teamers and our guys dress or at least wear jerseys because we got the best cheerleaders. I mean, you could see it on the sideline. They were never excited about anything. Our kids got excited when we got a first down. There's still an enthusiasm and excitement, and I think it's that energy that helps us, uh, and, and we respond to it. But, but mostly the players went out and played offensively for every game we've gone out of the, out of the locker room and, and moved the ball and scored. Each week we get a little better offensively. Defensively, I thought we'd have a chance to be pretty good, and we're proving that. Uh, I thought we were more talented. I thought we've, we've got some outstanding linebackers. We've got some players, and each week they just keep uh, impressing me. Uh, in the way they play, and uh, uh, we're 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 driven by a strong defensive group of players and an offense that I think uh, Rich is finding ways for us to be uh, uh, for to manufacture an offense to find a little bit of this we can do a little bit of that we can do. We came out through deep early, took it right down the field, scored a touchdown. Second half came down, scored a touchdown with a fourth and inches. Rich went wanted to go for it. We went went for it and uh, broke a, a long touchdown run there with Andrew Henry to give us a a, a little a, a big margin there. It was like I think it was twenty to ten at that point, and it just gave us the strength. And of course, uh, Jaquez Williams' uh, interception for a touchdown over ninety yards uh, was the one that just kind of sealed the deal. Um, and I, I don't have it. There's so many players I don't really wouldn't have an MVP. Um, because I hadn't had time to study it. There were just so many guys that were all over that field. But that was an MVP play of the game because it just it solidified uh, uh, the, the, the way the game was going to end, I felt, at that point. And then the defense came back with a safety. Uh, it was phenomenal. Uh, the energy that the crowd brought, that we brought, um, really, you really can't explain the emotions that we had uh, since we're getting better as a team from last year. You know, the sky's the limit. Most definitely, uh, just wanted to say that I'm thankful for the opportunity to get an opportunity to play here. Um, the play was just just a player pursuit, just a player relentlessly finishing. That's something that we pride ourselves on on defense here. Um, just running to the ball, finishing the play, and you know that was just a byproduct of me just trying to finish the play. You know, the ball popped up; it just seemed like it hung in the air forever, and I just caught it in stride and just just did what I knew how to do best, just take off. Yeah, it was a great win, super exciting. I think I was I was just really proud of the defense. Defense did such a great job tonight, and that gives the, the confidence or the offense a lot of confidence that, hey, we just got to get our uh, stuff straightened out, and the defense, they're not going to score on us. And that's really how I felt the whole game, that, hey, we just get a couple scores, and we're going to win. And the special teams did a great job, too. Um, I'm proud of everybody for battling. Chandler got in there and played well while I was kind of dealing with some stuff. So it was a great win. I'm, I'm excited for our, our program. We're gaining some, some momentum. And the thing I'm excited about is that we are we still have so much room to get better. I mean, just specifically me and on offense, there's a lot of things that we can get better, and, and I'm, I'm hoping this will uh, keep going in the weeks ahead.